Hey, it's Joe Lyons from The Automator, and in this video here, Maestruth, we were on a call with him, and I asked him, hey, by the way, can you show RaptorX a little bit about your HTML GUI uh, class that you've written? And so he hadn't worked with it in a long time. He actually developed it, I think, a few months ago. Well, he's been working on it for a while, but he had stopped for several months. And so he gave us a, a walkthrough. It's, it's to me, it's amazingly powerful. You're going to have to excuse him because he hadn't worked with it in quite a while. So he was trying to remember some of the stuff. So... And this was impromptu. He had no prep work for it. So we just walked through and showed how you can easily create GUIs, like more customized HTML GUIs, and interact with them, make them dynamic, click buttons, make new buttons, show pictures, do lots of really, really cool stuff. Stuff that the auto hockey GUIs, you know, have a trouble with. Also, it's much more reactive in dealing with the different DPIs on different screens. So uh, I think it's a pretty cool video to watch through, and I'll put a link to the, how to get the class that he has. Thanks. Yeah, I believe pretty that's right. Yeah, that's right. So, um, gg phone equals new HTML. Can you zoom in a hair, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Is that the right one? I don't think that's the right one. Oh, right. Because I'm. A, I haven't saved it yet. Save. Uh, Studio doesn't do well until you uh, save stuff. Yep. Now, I noticed that Studio saves uh, character returns and line feeds, right? Why is that? Uh, it works in... When you work in the scripting, it, it saves it, or you're using just carriage return. But yeah. when it saves, it does carriage return the line feed. Yeah. Because if you open it up in, um, like, a text editor, it'd all be in one line. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, they are... Since Windows 10, that is not an issue. And they are... Everybody's getting rid of the coverage return. Um, they Even now, uh, Windows 11... I think Windows 11 is just another Linux <laughs> disguises Windows. That's what I think it is. It's almost it's the same as Linux. Yeah. yeah, it's just a Linux thing. Um, everybody's dropping the freaking carriage return. That is so old and... I don't know. I, I would drop it myself. Like, man, I don't use it for a long time. Okay, so this is the window name. Uh, my yep. fancy window. So this just creates the you know the named window, whatever. Program. When you say a named window, is that like um, the title or something else? Uh, my. Fancy. Oh no! So this is the name of the window. I got right. It. Equivalent. And you say default. Yep. Right. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to call it, what's my program name, this fucking thing. Oh, I should use less. <laughs> <Good joke>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so style. Right now, it's set up to um, basically be black on white, black background, white text. But you could do background, orange. Oh, so, so that's an object. And then color uh, pink. It's going to look like shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now we've got options. I forget what my options are. Please bear with me. Options. Oh, yeah. This is all of the handling of the GUI stuff. Options. Oops. Options, resize, uh, okay, so we got resize, we can make it a tool window, you could give it an owner if you want. Oh, so those are the normal window options. Basically, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Minus caption, for example. Yeah, 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 all that stuff. So now if we gg.show, so in here we've got the X position, the Y position, and you can just skip by it, and the default would be center center, so let's go. 500 by 300, just to get it in there. Yeah. Okay, so we run it. We got a GUI, 500 by 300. Oh, one moment. The cutters. Hold on just a second. Did I? It's been a while since I've used this. Please forgive me. Do, 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 style, style. Oh, that's right. 
I think I made it so that it's just straight up HTML. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap that up. And do, 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 do. You mean CSS? Oh, uh, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh, right, you dickhead. Forgot the important part. GG dots. Reset. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, so what that does is it resets everything and creates the dark window. Huh? So let's go ahead and add something to it. GG uh, create element. And it's basic stuff, so... Let's create a button that uh, we're not going to do any parents right now because, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, attributes. Function. My function. And then the HTML is going to be, um, let's go, H-E-L underline L-O underline. So we run that. And we don't get anything. What? Pardon me. One second. The fun maybe. Well, no. I was going to say, like, probably the function that you're passing as an object. Maybe it's not for an object. Or no, it's for an object. I just, like I said, it's been a while since I've used it. So yeah, yeah. Attribute. Style. Text. Text. Oh, okay. So, oh, <laughs> I did it before the reset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he created right. and then he, he, he Yeah, yeah. So now I've got a button that will have a function with that. Right. So now let's go and notice it didn't error. No, no. And I can click on this and it's not going to error. I no, like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It makes me happy. <laughs> so now you my have function. my function, which actually creates this. And you can use either function or label. Doesn't matter. Um, message box. Hello. So we run that. We click the button, and it says hello. Yeah, that's awesome. That's actually cool. And then the thing is that this is all. So uh, the create element function here is uh for that's the 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 equivalent of um it's the same the dom the dom, the dom function right the, yeah, yeah. yeah okay so basically i would use uh you know button list uh those kind of things yeah so whatever i could put in a dom object uh, element that's what i would use right well now the fun thing is list view is not a thing but i no. made it anyway <laughs> So let's go ahead and say my attributes, I'm going to call it uh, ID, and we're going to go ahead and call this um, my list view. Okay. So now when I run it, you're not going to see anything except for there's the a white little white Yeah, board. exactly. Right. Fancy stuff. So GG, um, let's see. LV. Yeah, LV. Christ, what did I call it? It's been so long since I've used it. Ah, build LV. All right, so the list view is my list view. And now we've got columns. So ID of column, let's go um, just call this ID, and then we will call name of uh, ID. Pretty simple. Then this next one, we're going to go uh, ID of um, things and name of other things. Okay. Now, if we run that, we've got our headers, ID and other things. So now we've got our columns created. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. And then you would do the same, but build, for the rows. Now, this one is build body two. This is the fun one. Build body two. It's asking for the data and then the list view. My list view. And now we're going to create an object. OBJ colon equals square brackets. And then we're going to say ID of four. And um, thing, things of my things. 
And then we go OBJ and run it. Oh, didn't tell it what type. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay, so columns have to have types. <laughs> okay. So we got text, or you know what? We're going to call this one text, and then we're going to call this one uh, da, 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 type. Um, let's go uh, input. There we go. So now we run it. So we've got four of my things. And oh, notice okay. this is wow. right. Yeah, I get it. Fucking edit box. No, oh, sorry. Bad words. This is an edit box. Yeah. So now we've got that inherent. And notice that when I changed it, the little background is red. Yeah. Yeah. So I can go four and we're back to where we were. No little dirty tag to say that, hey, this is. Nice. Oh, okay. So you're, you have something that keeps track of what the original value was, and if it changes, it's actually keeping track of it. Right. Okay, wow. So now, That's awesome. let's say that we just want to let that go willy-nilly. Ignore state one. So now, if I change it, yeah, yeah, oh, if... crap, crap, crap. What is it? Ignore state one. I don't think that inherits it from there. Or did it? I don't recall. But you can turn it off so it doesn't turn red. Yeah. That's, um, what, he, that's what he's trying to do, right? No. I'm just trying to remember, did I put it in the, the build LV? Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm trying to remember. Where I mean, did you put it, right? <laughs> Whether in the, in the object itself or... No, nah, I there. forget. It's been a while. Um, inside of list views, it's kind of still a little weird. But yeah. outside of a list view, let's say we want to add GG create element, create element, uh, input, uh, parent, nothing, attributes. We'll call it ID my edit. And then for the style, we'll just say width. Oh, come on. 300. So that should give us create element input. Why? Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. The wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be in the attribute still? No, it's the style and oh, in the style. Well, yeah, 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 okay, get it. So the style is the one that actually you're you're using the oh. where? Oh, because I put it below the fucking list view. You shithead. Nah. My language is terrible. I apologize. Now we got this. Yeah. So now this one here, this one. If you come in here and. Add the ignore, the ignore state. There it is. Now you see that it showed up, right? No. Oh, oh, wow. Is it ignore state? I could have sworn it was ignore state, but I guess... I guess it could be... The search in there, like... Yeah, there yeah is. there's ignore state. And yeah. that is in that... In, where? In, in, in... Oh, you dickhead. Son of a... Mm. <sighs> it's an attribute, not a freaking style. You shithead. Oh, that's what I said. Like, probably was an attribute. Oh no, not really. <laughs> but, no, because I put it in the wrong. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put it on, on, on. Yeah. That goes there, go right? Here. Yeah, here. That should work. Yeah, there it is. So. <laughs> Yeah, so that ignores the state. So if you got like a search or whatever, this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But look at how, I mean, those are, that looks so much nicer than the typical auto hotkey GUIs. Yeah. And, and that's even ugly, right? You weren't even trying to make it look nice. It yeah, just, exactly. It was just, he just put it there, right? Yeah. <laughs> so now let's go ahead and GG square brackets. Or no, excuse me. Um, 
does that even work anymore? I don't know. One moment. I'm kind of curious. It's been so long since I've used it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it doesn't do that. So, unfortunately, you've got a query selector. So, what did I call that input my edit? So, my edit dot text. So, things. What the? F oh, no, that's my function. Da -da -da, query selector. Curious to see if it even catches it. Oh, because it's value, you shit. Yeah, that's funny. How long is uh, it's one of those things, right? Well, yeah. What people I've never understood why they put one over the other. Yeah, so now in my message box, I've got this thing in there. So you can pull directly from the, uh, the HTML just by calling to it from yeah standard selectors and everything else okay. yeah and then you'll get the value directly right so right. like dot value it is like in auto hotkey itself that you get the dot value stuff right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect but you can oh, can, you, can you can you change value to for example uh text content or or is it just like in auto hotkey dot value only because, for example, in, 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 if you use the DOM uh, functions, like query selector, at the end, you can put just dot text content or dot text. Oh, you mean like, like here? Here, yeah. So that could be like text. But in AutoHotKey, you, you cannot do that in AutoHotKey. Yeah, with this one, it's... Um, it's just the value, just value. Yeah, I don't believe... Yeah, so that, that is the other hard key way of doing it. Because I, I just wanted to know, because there's a few things that you can access in, in, in the real DOM that is better than just the value. Oh, it just depends on what you're doing, right? Yeah, exactly. Like it depends what? on what I'm trying. Like no, for what? example, I, uh, there's two ways. Like, for example, text content versus... Um, how was it? The other one is um, in, uh, inner text. One of them brings the new lines. The other one doesn't, for example. And in certain situations, I just want to grab the text and ignore the new lines. And in ah. some cases, I, I just want to do that. And, and there are other things that you can access from the content, the property itself, that um, in auto hotkey, you lose that because you can only access value, is what I mean. But that's ah. okay. Like, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's well, with like, value, you, you get everything. So all you have to do is just reg X replace. And yeah, keep... yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is, I just wanted to know if the way how we was working here was the auto hard key way or if it was the dumb way. That was all. Uh, actually, technically, it is the dumb way. I'm... But only value. It doesn't get anything else. Which is how auto hotkey handles it, which is okay. I just wanted yeah. to know which one of them was it. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Everything auto hotkey, basically. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, creative, awesome. But but it just made it a little easier. And what's nice? No, is man, that's that's way easier than actually creating an HTML file and trying to connect to the, to the yeah. events or something. Yeah, of course. Oh, um, let's see. One moment. Button. I think it's that. I think. Ah, come on. See when those explore. Oh, Zoom, you are always in my way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are uh, the, so many the, things about Zoom that I just absolutely despise. No, but in, in my case, like, as soon as I got two monitors, I always put Zoom in the, the monitor that I used less. 
Like that's I don't I don't want you there. Like oh man, no, I don't want that. <laughs> um, been a while since I've done this, so give me one moment. Yep, no problem. Body, drop, drop files. You know what? I might actually be overloading it. No. Interesting. Uh, I could have sworn, and you know what? I may have. Let's see. Button function drop my drop. Oh, what the hell? There we go. So I dropped it onto the button. Yeah. And it gave me that. Yeah. So let's go ahead and add drop. Another drop. Uh, another drop. A star. M F. Um, this is my function. I drop. I drop it here instead. So I run this. I drop it on the button, and of course, it's not doing anything. What did I oh, do? What? Yeah, it was working right now. Um, One moment. There we go. Ah, there we go. And then I drop it on there. Oh. And you could drop pictures. Oh, I dropped it on the list view. <laughs> did I drop element text area? Oh, that's the text area. <laughs> oh, yeah. you should have. Dude. I dropped it here. And yeah, stuff. there it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know what? Let me check. What was the name of that attribute? Uh, text content, for example, text content or. Yeah, I was I reading up on it. There's also label, which. Yeah, there there's several ways that you can access text in a control, which is not like. It, really need it but there are some things i just needed to know how this function was behaving and just because it text. Depends. yeah there's inner text there is uh um inner html label text text content outer text right there are different ways that you can grab the information but what happens is in auto hotkey you can only access what is called value which is okay that's not a problem um, the only thing is that you always have to be careful because, for example, if you're using an Internet Explorer object, you can access uh, text content and all those guys. But if you're not using an object, if you're just using the other hotkey way of connecting to it, you can only get the value. So it's, it, you always have to know what you're referring to. That's what happens. Oh, yeah. Tab and shift tab work as well. Oh, so you have tab stops in here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, all hand done, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, and don't, didn't you have one where you could drop on a picture and it would display the image? Um, you can do that pretty simply with... Uh, let me make the oh, window yeah, a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yep. So we'll make it bigger, and then we'll just GG create elements... IMG attributes uh, drop um, image drop ID of image. I could just do the IMG tag, but you know, whatever. Image drop. I think it's. I think it's a. Well, I think it requires three, but we'll find out. Uh, all right, so let me get to some images. 
Z colon slash media pretty well. There we go. Gotta wake up the drive. There we go. Oh yeah, I gotta give it like a size so that we can see it. Da -da -da -da. So style with 500, height 500, border 2px, solid red. Now I can at least, or should be able to, uh, did I not? Oh, what did I do there? Ah! Yeah, big stupid. Sorry, gotta resize it there. Hmm. Interesting. Image, image drop, image. Width 500, height 500. I'm going to get rid of this list view. Okay, it was just pushing it off the screen. So now when I drop onto here, okay, it's 1.1, 1 .1, so that's... So we're just gonna say dot one, that should give me my file name. There's my file name, good deal. So, GG, oh yeah, we gotta make this global so that it gets in here. Uh, query selector, image, source, src, colon equals a dot one, and or oh, okay. Whatever you wow. So, so whatever you drop, it actually goes ahead and reads the the file itself, and then just opens it, right? Yep, just create it. Just adds the source tag and points it to the file. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but yeah. hold on, are, are you kind of like using this the original um, tag, or are you deleting that tag and adding a new one? No, just using the original tag. Oh, okay, yeah. You just change the source to it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's great. That's awesome. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, and this is the cool thing. So, um, what I was talking about uh, with Joe is that with with a an HTML GUI, you have a lot more flexibility. Oh, fuck uh, yeah! Rather, rather than actually just having these <laughs> very specific yeah. Windows thirty two things, like, oh man. Now, does the the issues we were having with the auto hockey and the DPI stuff, if we use the HTML GUI, is that much easier to deal with, or is it still problematic? Oh, you mean like with the VPI? Oh man, no. um, it'll be smaller, but the, the issue the issue would not be that that noticeable. No, right? it's not okay. right. So that's one it's, reason why we might because the whole control. So 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 basically, what happens is for our hard key when 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 we had the issue with the DPI it was because each control has. Uh, its own DPI stuff going on, and some of them get smaller than others, and so oh. on. But but as you have one control, like it's the, a, whole, the yeah. whole HTML thing I is in it. one control, the whole thing gets uh, you know. Because I remember that one. Thing, when I was right? talking to Hellbent, um, he was saying some things get changed, but not others, and that's where it's right. That's really because problematic. yes, yeah. exactly. And it is because each control, and he was talking about like, if I get the edit control done, then that, that then I don't have this issue. It is because each control has its own issues with the DPI settings. Yeah. yeah. But if you have an, a, a, an HTML GUI, well, the whole HTML GUI goes in one control, one HTML control. Oh, so, yeah. Right. That's, you can even set it up to see what the size is of the monitors that, you know, that the person yeah. has. Yeah. yeah. And exactly. then just add like a little scaling to your CSS and you're done. Uh, yeah, exactly. So that's it. And um, so what's fun here is GG in CSS and, is uh, in CSS dealing with different sizes of monitors is way easier. I could tell you that. Yeah. So let's see. Um, input. Oh, what's the declarations? I forget how I do all this crap. I think I actually have it to where if the selector is an object, Yeah. So I can do 
input um, with 800 by 500. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Input drives me nuts as when I forget. It's been so long. <laughs> yeah. So what are you what are you working most of the time right now? Right now I'm just working on C um C sharp. C sharp, right. Okay. So that doesn't work. So apparently I'm gonna have to do this and that. Still. Oh, right, because it's pushing other things. Yep. Of course. Let me go back to, because I set up a lot of CSS to work with all of this shit. So there we go. So now all of the text areas or inputs, excuse me, have a width of 800 and a height of 500. So if I throw in uh -huh, another, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I throw in another, uh, Input, don't even have to tell it what to do. It would automatically kind of like calculate it. Right. Um, let's bring this size down to 200, 300. So there it is down here because I obviously put it in after the image, which was silly of me. So <laughs> now we've got. Yeah. So let's see. The 300, let's get rid of that. So everything's 200 by 300 there. Then we could drop it in the square, 200 by 200, whatever. And then, of course, you can do like, um, let's say we only want ID, my ID. So we could just do my ID, oh, the selector did not work. Interesting, one moment, oh, no, the ID, my ID, I could have sworn. So, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, this not styles, selector, declarations. Oh. Huh. So, how my ID should be the ID, the selector for the ID, that's Interesting. Did I? Okay. Um. Hmm. I'll have to I'll have to mess with that because that should have. Is this how's all of them? I'm gonna select it. Odd, but yeah, I mean, it's not that difficult to. Oh, another fun thing is um, my CSS. So now we've got my CSS here, and on my button, I've got my function is. Da, 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 da. So what did I call it? My CSS in the text. Um, let's try that here. Okay. 
one. I just don't understand. Hash Pound is the selector for ID. Is it no, ID? Hold on. So the, 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 hash the hash tag is for IDs, yes. That's what I thought. Yes. ID image. <laughs> oh, you goddamn motherfucking stupid son of a bitch piece of <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about <They're>... that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my edit for the first input. Gee, many crackers. That's what I was doing. I was doing the wrong stinking thing. I do that all the time. It drives me nuts. Don't worry. So now with that selector, <laughs> just this one is a different size. Rather than the other one. So now if I come in here and give the second input an ID. Um, yeah, so yeah. I look at this stuff and go, I mean, granted, it takes me, I, I don't know HTML well enough, but. Uh, all right. Um, now this one is bigger than the other one. It's very impressive. It yeah, it's and actually, yeah, I actually. Um, prefer HTML to to um, other things, but uh, that's as usual, like if you don't, uh, if you don't um, practice, no, yeah. like it gets yeah. a little bit annoying. It's a use it or lose it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, when you get back into regex, if you haven't done it in a yeah, while. Yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. It's like, what, how does that work then? Oh, here's another fun thing. If you don't want to use my notation for stuff and you just want to program HTML, mm -hmm. uh, create element. Let's give this a type of, uh, let's see. Um, let's go button. And then for the HTML, mm -hmm. so HTML. And then you, you have an HTML. Uh, so let's go input. And so now. Yeah. Oh, wow. You have a button with an input on it. <laughs> yeah, that so kind of. That kind of. Yeah, yeah, that's so weird. Yeah, you can, you can do very crazy stuff with HTML. Yeah. I wonder if I can just push through. No, <laughs> I didn't figure. But what I could do. Let me think. Oh, yeah. The gg doc body outer HTML, HTML. So now we've got our HTML. And the fun thing is function equals my function. And I've already got that run. And of course, it's not going to do anything because it's a freaking input. But come in here and let me put some text on that button. And all the functions still work. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, let's see, I think it's. Um, do, 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 do. My fancy window. My fancy. Oops. My fancy window. E S D P E. Um, uh, here. X -Y. So we run this. We hit escape. It says here, and then it goes away. Oh. My fancy window close. Uh, and uh, oops. Other next to that. So you close it. It says here. Uh, that's all oh, right. I do have everything. 
everything kind of gets routed through escape for some reason. I forget <laughs> why. But, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I don't think I have clothes in there, but it would be simple to add it in. But everything gets routed through the escape because 99% of the time I'm using escape or closing windows or whatever. So Yeah. And the fun thing is you can create as many GUIs as you want, little pop-ups here, there, whatever. Yeah, 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 exactly. And that's, that's the cool thing. So not only it is easy to create, but then uh, later on it is um, very easy to move them around at the same time, uh, align them, and do other stuff that in other hotkey is not that easy to do, especially because it is not kind of like a grid-based uh, kind of GUIs, you know? Like Yeah, 99% of the time, if I need to line stuff up, I'll just create a table. Uh, in, in HTML, yeah, that's easy. But in Out of Heart Key, there's no way for you to oh, yeah. simply do that. <laughs> right. Right. In Out of Heart Key, it's just like, yeah, you would have to. <laughs> so this should preserve my background. Oh, it should have preserved my background. What happened? You know what? This is bothering me. Why is this? I am doing reset. GG. Show. It's there. Okay, that kept that, and this should, why is that bothering the inner HTML bothering, because that should be, huh, interesting, you know what I should do, I should just make a method Is that already a method? I don't think so. So go like that. HTML GUI A B C D E. C H I T L. What would I do? I would, uh, uh, let's see, this dot, 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 outer HTML coin is this dot, dot. Oh, there we go. Just appending it, basically. So now I inherited all my background color and then my foreground color. So yeah, it looks awesome, man. That does not work. Why does that not work? I think it's this way. There we go. Okay. And the nice thing is, is you can go like um, CC00 AA and get the colors as well. So you don't have to rely on the black, pink, purple, whatever. You can. Yeah, you any, can actually change it to whatever you want. Yeah. Any semitone in between. Awesome. So, yeah, I just. And this, this, I, I guess I should call this like append HTML. What do you mean? Uh, what's up? Uh, I, I didn't understand that. Like that was what? Um, HTML. Hold on a second. 
it's more of an appending of the HTML. Okay, yeah. So move that. Come on, you rotten. A P is before you. There we go. So yeah, it's just appending HTML rather than so. Yeah. So say we've got this, and then we're gonna say I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, and then on the button, which is my function, doo -doo 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 -doo, rather than do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Different button, GG, reset. Nah. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, figures. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, we got my button. You click on it. Now it's a different button because I reset the window. Yeah, exactly. It, it actually changes everything in there. Right. Awesome. So. No, but again, yeah, you have a lot of flexibility with this. It's not that, it's not. Um, doing that is not that easy without a hard key. Um, no. It's not as easy. Is what I mean. Like, man, almost not possible for some of the that it's. That <laughs> yeah, I mean. that's right. Um, um, like, no, but that's. I wrote this in HTML or this in the, the same thing. It's basically, um, I've got a. This is tied to a SQLite browser or an SQLite file. Okay. So, yeah. Like favorites, just hit enter and it'll list it all out where um, OID less than five or five. So you get one, two, three, four, whatever. But then if I want to go delete, I want to delete from favorites where whatever, or if I want to just issue a raw um, query or a raw SQL query, I just go to that page. Yeah. But what's lovely is this is all just in divs, and I'm just hiding and showing divs. Just oh, like a okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just I, oh, so you're you're not like uh, creating very complicated stuff. You just show and hide the div itself. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I don't do anything difficult if I can help it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's what so what's be, right? cool is you can, you know, every time you change the um, the table, it updates the columns for you, and then you can do whatever you need to do. Yeah, awesome. But it's just, I just, I just write so much shit. It's just <laughs> crazy. Yeah, you have a lot of information, right? <laughs> yeah, like, um, I think this one here. Oh, damn it. I started messing. Oh, that's right. This is old news anyway. But yeah, I can uh, I can give you the hold on a second. Uh, jump to demo stuff. Publish. That should be it. I think uh, I think Joe sent me a uh, GitHub link. The GitHub link, right? Yeah, I saw it. I don't know if everything's in there though. Oh, you haven't you haven't updated it? It said yeah. updated six months ago, so yeah, it, it it's been a while. All right, okay. But I know you haven't played with it. In, well, you haven't played with it to my knowledge in a while, so I figured it was close. Yeah, I might yeah. lose power. It's raining pretty damn heavy here. Oh, really? Uh, right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, All I've done yeah. a shit ton of work with HTML. And I got scared because they're like, well, we're going to be taking it out. I'm like, well. Taking what out? Uh, I.E. Oh, right. Yeah. No, but that's the point. Like, uh, they're taking it out. But um, Joe and, Ta and Tank, we were talking about it. And I re we really doubt really much that the com object is going to go anywhere. So the, the, the browser itself, yeah, might not be on Windows any longer. But the com object is not going to disappear. That's going to stay there. Yeah, well, by all means, use it if you like it. If it works for you, great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, that's yeah, good. it's awesome. it is very powerful. Yeah, it is. And so in any case, yeah, we. I'm gonna play a little bit with it, um, and then I'll let I will let you know how it goes. Yeah, just 
goof with it. I mean, I'm, it's not written so technically that someone can't get in there and tweak it and fix whatever I broke. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. It's just an ass load of code. It's just a lot. Yep. That's for real. But most of the time you gotta type and type and type to Until make it, you get it. You don't right, have exactly. to type so much. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for sure. Like um um uh, you spend the time creating the thing the first time, but then later on you just don't have to do that, that much work. Right. Yeah, I know. It's like 10 minutes. I've got a very reactive GUI that that works perfectly. Oh, and the fun another fun thing with um with a GUI, so we've got this here. You can resize it. You can set a minimum size. So this this size that you set is the minimum. Okay. Yeah. So it will not get any smaller than that. So if we go to 400 and drop it down, 400 is small. 400 by 200 is as small as it will go. Yeah, okay, okay. I got it. But the fun thing is if you go style equals width 30%, it's going to be 30% of the window. Yeah. Exactly, which is what I oh, actually like wow. the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So that's that's what I like about HTML, which is that you don't have to put sizes; you could put percentages. You say like yeah. you have fifty percent of the window, yeah, and that's it. That's yeah, huge. that's that's yeah. that's in My CSS. God. That's that's yeah. man. That's you. As soon as you understand why CSS yeah. is better, you would like to go to to it as soon as possible. Yeah. yeah. And, and and don't talk about the sizes of text with their they have a, a an em system that it is relative to the screen size so right. it, it, it it is not a, a a size like 12 or something like that it is kind of like in your screen should be six points in my screen it's going to be the, exactly those six points don't worry which is the dpi problem that we have with our hotkey that is not like that that in your screen six means something and in mine it means something totally different that's the issue right um but in in html as it is kind of like percentage based when you put an em size it depends it, in his computer and my computer would look relatively the same that's what happens it's, it's, it's awesome that's why i'm i'm actually kind of like i want to do that yeah no, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Patrick. No worries. Yeah, we, All right, well, have fun. Thank you very much it. for the, for the time, man. Yeah, let me know if uh, let me know if it's helpful. If you start using it, great. I'm no, no, really, it, it, is, it is amazing. Yeah. All right, have fun. Awesome. Yeah. See you. Okay, talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching that video. And if you wouldn't mind, ask questions or comment on the video. I read every comment that's in here. I don't always reply to everyone, but I do read everyone. So I really appreciate if you would comment. Also, like uh, it really does help me out. Cheers.